Got you. And, and DA, how about with Spotify? You guys just announced 50 billion plays of, of or, or Facebook announced 50 billion plays of, of uh, services like Spotify on Facebook, right? Um, what are you seeing in terms of behavior? Is that, is that, is that creating new Spotify subscribers? Yeah, is it, absolutely. I and mean, is it recommending music? Absolutely. I mean, a lot of our users are coming from Facebook where they're seeing what their friends are listening to and they press play and it installs Spotify for them. And on the other side of it, we have users who are frictionlessly sharing what they're listening to, which, you know, has incited some debate as to whether or not users want to share everything they're doing without having to um, actively choose to do so. I think my perspective on it is that people should have the choice, which is what we now give them. And on Spotify, you can choose to be in a sort of incognito mode where what you're listening to isn't shared. But I at least personally... It's, op it's opt out, not opt in. It's opt out. And the reason for that is that most of, our users, out, it, mo might. most of our users don't have a problem with it. And I, sort of as a sample of one, as someone who does sit and listen to Britney Spears songs 30 times in a row... I know this about you. I've had to come to terms... How about that new that Cold, <laughs> that Coldplay jam you were playing for me? <laughs> I like the one song. It's now on Spotify, by the way. You um, made me listen to it really loud. But um, <laughs> the drums are really good. They're really crispy. It's Brian Eno, dude. I give them props. But, um, you know, for me, I have to go, well, why is it embarrassing for someone to know that I'm listening to this 30 times? I don't see anything wrong with that. Right? And, and any part of me that goes, I don't want people to know what I'm listening to, is sort of a part of me that I want to deprioritize, I suppose.